If you're thinking about getting a DEXA bone scan, or better yet, have already booked that first appointment, this video is for you. You would probably like to know exactly what you signed up for, and maybe even why. So listen up for the top seven things you must know if you wanna maximize your DEXA experience. Here, I'll be sharing everything you need to know to make your first appointment go as smoothly as possible. Welcome to Stronger Bones with Algical. What even is a DEXA? DEXA, or DXA, stands for Dual X-ray Absorptiometry. Try saying that five times really fast. This advanced, highly accurate form of imaging is able to look at your body head to toe and determine how much of your body is made up of each component, bone, muscle, and even adipose tissue. What's even cooler? Not only can it tell how much of your body is made up of different tissues, but it even measures the presence of various minerals in your bones, including calcium. This is what we call a gold standard, meaning most accurate test to determine bone mineral density. Because healthy bones have a high amount of minerals per square centimeter, it will measure this density and compare your measurement to where it ought to be for someone your size and age. And this gives your doctor an approximation of your risk of breaking a bone in the future. Make sense? Now, you shouldn't just drop into a clinic for your first DEXA, so listen closely. How do I book a DEXA? Most of the time, you get your DEXA appointment through your primary care physician. However, unless you're one of the lucky few with a family doctor who is proactive enough about sending you for a DEXA, you might have to be the one to start that conversation. Don't be afraid to be the proactive one and tell your doctor you'd like to schedule that appointment. Now, if your doctor is resistant to the idea, it can help to go in prepared. Check if you have any of the increased risk factors for osteoporosis that might convince your doctor, such as being Caucasian or Asian, being a woman, having a small frame, having family history of osteoporosis, regular use of certain medications, being a smoker, or if you had a bariatric surgery in the past, among other factors you can read about in a link I'll leave below. The Bone Health and Osteoporosis Foundation recommends that postmenopausal women and men aged 50 to 64 should get a bone mineral density test. This is because menopause is typically a period of rapid bone loss. I think that makes more sense because if your bone density is low, the sooner you catch that decline, the sooner you can take action to slow it down or even reverse it. If you have a family history of osteoporosis, especially on your mother's side, then it's even more important to get scanned early. You can also check out my last video here where I share some early warning signs to be on the lookout for. Present your case to the doctor. Advocate for your own health. There is no committee meeting anywhere on how to make your life better. If it's going to improve, it's because you made it happen. Nobody cares more about your health than you. So just make it happen. And if you can't talk to your doctor into requisitioning one, maybe it's time to find a functional medicine doctor. They will typically be more proactive about this. Now, if you've never had a DEXA, it's okay to feel worried about any side effect or harm that it might cause. So let's clear things up. Are there any downsides to DEXA? Actually, the only really downside of DEXA is minimal time commitment and a reasonable financial commitment. The cost is typically covered by Medicare or insurance for women over 65 and men over 70. And if you pay out of pocket, the cost ranges from $70 to $300, which I think is reasonable for the value you get from it. It's non-invasive, meaning no biopsy or needles, blood draw, tubes inserted, no fasting, no pills. You just show up at the clinic, put one of those lovely gowns on that we all love so much and lay on a table. You typically take 15 minutes on the DEXA table getting scanned, so it's not even a big time commitment. And you're exposed to a little less radiation than a flight on an airplane. Yes, flying exposes us to cosmic radiation, charged particles from outer space, which takes us to my next topic, and I hope this gives you some extra peace of mind. How much radiation can you get from DEXA versus flying? The amount of radiation used is extremely small. It's less than one-tenth of the dose used for a standard chest X-ray and less than the natural radiation you're exposed to in a day. Plus, no radiation stays in your body after an X-ray exam. That's why radiation should be the least of your concerns when booking one of these appointments. Now, these last three points I'm gonna mention are the most important for you to consider, especially when choosing your DEXA clinic. But before we go there, I've got an incredible resource that will aid you in your bone health journey. It's called the Smart Women's Guide to Healthy Bones. This guide is a 33-page, full-color PDF that's packed with solid advice on how to increase your bone mineral density in safe and natural ways. Yes, you heard it right. 
you can increase your bone density and strength naturally at any age. Currently, over 100,000 bone builders just like you are following this guide, and they're getting results like these. Bone mass in my spine had increased 10.8%. My numbers had improved immensely. My T-score had moved from minus 2.6 up to minus 2.3. I am thrilled to report I am minus 0.8. My spine had improved almost 7.5%. Just click the link below and get your free guide sent directly to your email. Now, how do I choose the right DEXA clinic for me? Well, it all boils down to three important things to consider. Here's a simple truth about DEXA machines. No two DEXA machines measure exactly the same. So find a good local clinic for that first scan that you plan to keep using for your follow-up check-ins. To aim for the most accurate comparisons from scan to scan, try to use the same machine and technician each time if possible. It's really the only way to guarantee accurate and transferable data from your visits. And this information is invaluable when it comes to tracking your progress and succeeding in your bone health journey. Next is something most people don't know about DEXA machines. DEXA measures bone density, not quality. Bone density can be a good estimate for the quality of your bone most of the time, but unfortunately, there are still times when even bone with good density still fractures due to low quality. That's why some DEXA clinics have an added bone quality measurement called TBS, or a trabecular bone score. It's exactly the same DEXA machine, but with some software added to calculate the quality. All things being equal, if you have a choice, use a clinic that has TBS to get your bone quality measure as well. And here is a potentially life-changing factor, but only if your clinic shares the following information. Remember how I mentioned that DEXA can measure body composition? Well, ask if your visceral body fat will be measured at the same time. This is so important because subcutaneous fat is the fat we're able to see. But visceral fat is found deep within your abdominal cavity, meaning it surrounds your organs. It's impossible to know just how much of this hidden fat we have without using a comprehensive scan. Most clinics will measure and share it, but some do not. So choose a location that will give you body fat and visceral fat details. Knowing your visceral fat is a huge bonus because visceral fat levels are a great predictor of all-cause mortality. In other words, the higher your visceral fat, the greater your chances of cardiovascular disease, cancer, Alzheimer's, and diabetes. Understand your baseline level of fat and then work on lowering it, and then take future scans to monitor your progress. If you'd like more information on this topic, I've left a couple resources for you in the description below. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm really not trying to sound like a spokeswoman for DEXA. I'm just really passionate about helping people maintain the quality of life they have worked so hard to build as they age. From working in the health industry and the fitness industry, I have too often seen that loss of function comes from declining physical health. And we've all heard or even directly know a story of an amazing person who suffered a bone fracture tragedy. And I'm not using that word lightly. It's no secret that way too often there are otherwise healthy people out there who deal with multiple fractures, hospital visits, and financial challenges, which not only impedes enjoyment of life, but in late stages can actually lead to the loss of independence. It's just so much better for you if you can catch bone loss early. Here's a word of encouragement. You've seen muscular older men and women, right? Guys like this and ladies like this. It can be done safely and naturally with just exercise and good nutrition. The sooner in life you start, whether you're 25 or 65, the better. And just like putting on some muscle, almost everyone can do the same thing with their bone strength and density. You can make your bones stronger even in your 80s, just like your muscles. But I've got some bonus tips for you. So keep these handy so you can be prepared on the day of your first XF. It's okay to keep taking your supplements as you normally do. You may just be asked to stop taking calcium and other vitamin supplements 24 hours before your test. Make sure to communicate with your referring doctor what supplements and medications you're currently on so they can give you individualized recommendations. Make sure to wear loose and comfortable clothing and absolutely no metal. This means taking off jewelry at home. Not only will this help you get in and out of the appointment faster, but if you're anything like me, you'll also be less likely to lose your favorite ring or necklace at the clinic. This one is often a huge relief for most people to hear, but no fasting is required. That's right, you can eat as normal the day of the test. And this is especially helpful if you're scheduled in later in the afternoon. Now, I've got a question for you. You might've heard that some supplements and minerals can skew your DEXA results. 
Minerals like strontium, which is in fact one we've seen support bone building and even reduce risk of fracture. Have you heard or read that somewhere before? How true is this claim? Or is it just a myth? If you want to find out the truth about this and other myths about strontium, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the video about it. Thanks for watching Stronger Bones with AlgaeCal.